Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be selling my team and rebuilding it again, with new players. I've had the same players for a while now, and I just want to get rid of them. Please leave this video a like, and also subscribe to the channel if you want. Let's get into it. This is how my team is looking right now. I sold 102 Holland a few days ago, and I also sold Ribery and Dembele yesterday. I also sold Hernandez and bought Lizarizu. I wasn't really planning to make this video. It just came up so I didn't record myself selling them. And this is how my team looked then. I got tired of that team and some of the players, so I want to switch it up a bit. I also switched formation to the 4 triple 2 but this formation is not final. I might change it, but my goal for this team is to get 99 rated players in every position. Yes, you heard that right, but I don't know if that's possible. But I would suggest you watch till the end, because the end result turned out very good. Now let's go to the market to check out some players. I started with the CDM position, and I added Rodri and Lothar Matthias into my watch list. They're the best options right now. Next is the CAM position. 99 rated players are pretty expensive, but I'm hoping they will decrease in value a bit, cause the season reset is today and getting 99 rated players is possible. So I'm kinda relying on that. So I added Arda Guler as a plan B, cause Zico is the player I want. Next is the striker position. I want strikers with 5 star weak foot, and there are only three 99 rated strikers with five star weak foot, which is Kavarashkelia, Kane, and Van Basten. Next is the left back position. 99s are really expensive. They're all 160 million plus, and I don't think I will be able to afford them, so I will keep Lizarizu for now. Next is the right back position. 99s are also expensive. But maybe I can afford Azpilicueta, but I don't want him. I think I will get a 98 for my right back. I added Dumfries and Lam into my watch list. Lastly is the center back position. Hummels is there, but I don't want him. So I just added a Kanji. He is the affordable one. And Lucio as a plan B. And that's my watch list done. I then went to my team to transfer some training XP to other players. I don't want to lose the XP, and I'm doing this because I want to sell them. I will make some of my players tradable and sell them. I went to the market and bid prices for Modric, Petit, I sold Cancelo, and bid for Kohler. Now we wait. After 30 minutes, I managed to buy them, but Cancelo still hasn't sold. I then ranked the tradable cards with the untradable cards to max rank, and I had to be careful so I don't accidentally rank up an untradable with a tradable card, that that would be bad. I then placed them on the market. I got coins from selling Cancelo and Petit and bought De Bruyne. Ranked him up. And sold him. After waiting for literally two hours, I managed to sell them. Now we just have to wait for the end of season rewards and for some players to decrease in value. A few hours later the end of season rewards are here, so let's see what we get. The first two were disappointing. But the third one wasn't that bad. I exchanged Division Rivals tokens for some gems and opened the 3k gem pack and got a good player.
His good, but he ain't playing. I opened the Division Rivals Limited Bundle, all three at once, and got... You could have at least given me a 99 EA. I then got some Mascheranos. I exchanged some of my players to get some market pick tokens. I need a player above 50 million at least. That's bad, but I picked Sun. He is the most expensive one. I claimed him and placed him on the market. I took a quick look at the players I wanted to buy, and there was a few suppliers as I anticipated. I opened two more of these Division Rivals packs. First one was a walkout. And the second one, I didn't get a walkout. Off camera, I bought the Star Pass, cause I was down bad and needed more coins, cause I don't think the money I have is enough. I sold a few players and made some coins. I then bought a kanji with two ranks, and bought Lam with two ranks, and also Lothar Matthias with two ranks, cause the prices do not look like they will decrease further, and because patience is not my thing. I managed to buy them and added them into the team. I also changed formation, cause I'm kinda running short on money and I kinda wanna use this formation. I then bought Vitinha with no ranks and Van Basten with no ranks. I added them and ranked them to two ranks. This is the team right now. I think I'm left with 50 million, and I have two position left to fill. I kinda don't have the money, but I will get Kaka soon, and hope I pack some good players. So this process might take a few days. So see you tomorrow. On day two, I started by opening the 3K gem pack, and I got an amazing player. But he ain't playing. Off camera I sold Vitinha and bought Rodri. I added him and ranked him up. And transferred some training XP to him. And yes, I switched back to the 4 triple 2. On to day 3. On day three, I barely did anything. I just opened the 3K gem pack and called it a day. On day four, I started by opening the 3K gem pack and got a useless player. I was able to get Kaka after completing the daily quests. I added him, ranked him up,
and transferred some training to him. Here are his stats. It's Thursday, so the market pick refreshed, so I opened one. I just picked Muller. I claimed him. And tried to sell him, but the suppliers was too much. I then checked my players and saw that they were decreasing. Also, the players I wanted to buy were decreasing. I exchanged some division tokens for some gems and opened the 3k gem pack and got nothing good. I then purchased this membership offer and got some FC points. I opened these two packs for 500 FC points. The first was decent. The second one was bad. I then opened the 94 to 101 exchange and got a useless player. EA ain't showing me some love. I then sold Lom because I wanted to buy a striker. Strikers are pretty expensive and right backs aren't that expensive. Now, I just have to wait for these strikers to decrease in value and I was kind of regretting buying the players I bought because now they're decreasing and I should have just waited but I wasn't expecting the market to crash. It was really unexpected for me. A few hours later, I re-entered the game and decided to sell Lizarizu because I wanted to buy a 99 rated left back. Here are the targets I want to buy. They're still decreasing in value, so I will wait a bit. AK later decreased and people started to buy him and I also bought him because his supply can literally vanish. Off camera, I bought Puyol because some demand was starting to rise. Now, I just have to get a 99 rated cam. I can get Bellingham, but I'm kind of short on money. But I have a plan. I ranked up Kaka to three ranks. And sold him for around 89 million. But, I was still about 10 to 15 million short, so I will wait for a bit, and also sell some of the cards I have worth 800k, I have a few of them, so see you soon. After 2 to 4 hours I had the coins to buy them, I can now buy them both, I can wait for them to decrease more, but it's 10pm, and I just want to sleep. I added all of them in the team, And ranked up, Harry Kane. And here is the final team. I managed to get 99 rated players in every position. It took me a few days, but at least I got what I wanted. Now I just have to focus on getting Mascaranos, and I should be good. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave this video a like, and also subscribe to the channel for more content. Peace.